long, long ago. There lived a Brahmin in a little village. He had everything that he needed. He had a good wife. Intelligent children. He even had fertile land in which he could grow anything he wanted. But he was very lazy and he never worked. His wife tried in vain to make him perform his duties. Wake up! It's morning. Aren't you going to the fields? Me? You must be crazy. I shall never work. His wife was very upset, but she could not do anything about it. One day, a hermit came to the Brahmin's house. The Brahmin was very kind and generous to the hermit. Pleased, the hermit told the Brahmin, Son, I am very pleased with your service. Ask me for a wish and I shall make it come true. The lazy Brahmin was very happy. He immediately said, Noble one, I wish I had someone who could do all my work. The hermit agreed. So be it. But remember, you must have enough work to keep him busy. The Brahmin agreed. And lo, behold, a great demon stood before him. Master, what should I do? The Brahmin gulped. Now? Yes, I want to work. If I don't have work, I shall eat you. Slightly surprised, the Brahmin asked the demon to go and water the plants. The demon left in a flash. But remember, you must have enough work to keep him busy. Pleased. The Brahmin sat down and asked his wife for a glass of water. But before he could drink it, the demon returned. Finished, Master. What shall I do next? The shocked Brahmin dropped the glass of water from his hands. Already? Yes, Master. Okay, you may rest now. We can do the rest of the work tomorrow. No, Master! I want work now! If I don't have work, I shall eat you. The Brahmin was terrified. Why don't you plow the fields then? That should take you all night. And tomorrow, I shall give you some more work. The demon agreed and left. Pleased with himself, the Brahmin sat down for dinner. See, 
my dear. Now all my work will get done. I don't have to do anything. Hearing this, the Brahmin's wife just smiled. Just as he was about to eat the first morsel, the demon returned. Master, all done! Now the Brahmin was scared. He wondered if he had enough work for the demon. Seeing this, his wife said, Dear, can I give him some work? You? Yes. Okay. What work is there to do? Don't worry. I'll tell him. I want work. I want work. Okay. Go out and make our dog Moti's tail straight. The demon just grunted and set out once again. See how dangerous laziness can be? You try to avoid your own work? And now that this demon is there to help you, he says he will kill you if there is no work. You are right. I am so scared. What will we ask him to do after he straightens Moti's tail? The Brahmin's wife laughed. Sorry, my dear. That's why I gave him that work. <laughs> that demon will never be able to straighten Moti's tail. Sure enough, the demon did not succeed in this task. Moti's tail straightened when he pulled it, but curled again if he left it. Why don't you rest after dinner? me you will work hard from tomorrow. I promise. Thus, leaving the demon to his difficult task, the Brahmin and his wife went to sleep. The next day, when the Brahmin readied himself to leave for the farms, was still trying to straighten Moti's tail. <laughs> How are you doing, demon? I'll finish it soon, master! Hurry up and finish your task. I have more work for you. Yes, master! Good boy! Having said this, the Brahmin set out to his field. He was never lazy again.